I'm going to tell you a little story about one of my favorite old towns. You may have heard of its famous river, that dirty water in the River Charles. From the State House to the Common to Fenway, you'll find it everywhere you go today. Because where I come from, we love our dirty water. And oh yeah, Boston, you're my home. Today, I'm joined by my friends Jake and Amanda. First up is a walk from the T down to the Massachusetts State House. Well, at least this direction you're going parallel to the hill. <laughs> but yeah, people people know that that rain's coming because there's it's like almost disturbingly quiet here. <laughs> the state capitol. You've got cheap hookers. <laughs> because yes, I still have the sense of humor of a 12-year-old. When you walk into the State House, you'll be greeted by a large hall with beautiful stonework, ornate art, and plenty of history. Next up is the Great Hall of Flags, where you'll find the flags of every town in the Commonwealth. And if you look close enough, you can even find the flag of your own hometown. Ascend the Grand Staircase to find a beautiful stained glass panel containing all the Massachusetts state seals throughout history. And yes, our first seal was basically a naked guy with a fig leaf. And if you're wondering what's underneath the big golden dome, that would be the state senate. You've probably never heard of Governor Elbridge Gerry, but in 1812, he signed into law some highly partisan districts, including one on the North Shore that was shaped like a salamander. One of the Boston newspapers published a political cartoon merging his name with part of the word salamander, and thus, the term and practice of gerrymandering was born. As we get ready to leave to walk down to the common, Turns out Mother Nature was cooking up a rather nasty surprise for us outside. I guess I should have done my picture here. Oh, you, you, the... you can take another one, you know. Yeah. Beacon Hill in the rain, walking up and down hills in the pouring rain. At the Boston Common, you'll find the Make Way for Ducklings statue, dedicated to the classic children's story about the very ducks that call this park home.
So yeah, do you think we can have a Steve Irwin moment with these ducks right in the <laughs> middle of downtown Boston? <laughs> very confused one that thinks he's a duck. But yeah, we didn't really come prepared, but we're starting to dry out after the rain. The sun's back out. But we're gonna head back for the tea and head on out of here because get miss some proper dry clothes. There's no better way to wrap up a day's adventure in Boston than to take in a Red Sox game at Fenway Park. In a 2-2 game in the bottom of the ninth, a questionable call loads the bases with two outs. After the manager and umpire exchange pleasantries, both the game and our day end in truly grand fashion. And as they say here in Boston, cue that dirty water.